Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel, Get Crafty with Sally. My name is Sally Poole and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Albany, Oregon. Welcome. Um, if this is your first time here, let me know. Put a comment in uh, down below the video. Um, and it's great to have you here. Today, I'm going to show you how I made this. It's called a book fold or book binding card. I don't know if you can see that this little section here has been secured with glue so it doesn't open. Otherwise, it's the regular standard size card. Um, so this kind of looks like the spine of a book. I think it's pretty cool. And these cards are really easy to make. I, uh, of course, have several different samples that I sh I'll show you. Um, I did use a ton of different products on each card. So if you see anything that you're interested in making, I will have a link down below the video to my blog that will have a PDF with all of the measurements, the supplies that I used for each one of the cards that I'll be showing you. Um, the main items for this card that we're going to make today is the flowering zinnias designer series paper, which is beautiful. I only have the paper. I haven't ordered the bundle yet. I'm still still deciding whether I want to do that or not. This is kind of bright for me, but I really am liking it. Um, and then also this beautiful, sweetly scripted stamp set. I am loving it. These are both online exclusives. And the Zinnia paper is in low inventory right now and the sweetly scripted stamp set is currently unavailable it is expected to be back in stock the week of april 8th so that's not very far away so i don't know if you noticed this or not but here is the cover of the new catalog that's coming out soon. Um, customers will probably be getting these in the mail in about three or four weeks. Um, had a lot of comments about the picture that they chose for the front of the catalog. Um, let me know what you think about it. So... Here are the items that you're going to need to make this card. And like I said, you can either um, just go to my blog and get the PDF, or you can take a screenshot here if you like. I'm not going to go through and explain all these. Uh, the card sample that I'm showing you, the card stock that I used, was of course basic white and real red. Um, for this one, I'm gonna make the same card, but I am using Blackberry Bliss this time just to see what it looks like. So let's get started with this. I'm gonna take my card base, which is four and a quarter by 11. So you can just take a regular sheet of paper and cut it in half and you can do two of these card bases with it. I've already got little glue goodies on things. So this is scored at, and right on time I have a barking dog. This is scored at five and a half, which is the halfway point. I'm going to get my bone folder and we'll give this a press while we're here. And then it's also scored at four and a quarter. We'll fold that back over and give it a press. And 
since I'm not going to, I'm not sure how to explain this, the little pieces that I'm going to put on the side Um, I have wrapped the ribbon around those two pieces, the cardstock and the designer series paper. You can wrap the ribbon around, like you could glue these two pieces down and then wrap the ribbon around this entire thing and attach it inside if you want and then glue this little piece shut. But I'm not doing that, so um, let me find my glue here. I'm going to use my green glue, Tombow glue, which is really white glue. So we'll put some glue on there. Give that a little press. So I'll mention it now in case I forget later. Um, this isn't the only way that you can do this. You can, of course, um, instead of landscape, you could do it portrait. You just, of course, would obviously turn this paper the other way. That would be good, too, but I like it better this way. You can also do different sizes, which I'll show you that also. So let's take... Grab my chair, glue some of our little pieces together here. It is a gloomy gray day here in Oregon, um, but it is, I'm not sure what the temperature is, it's warmer than normal so I did open my back door and you can probably hear the wind chimes I did take the big giant piece out of the middle of it so it's not gonging so loudly I did have someone complain in my comments last year that she found my wind chime very annoying. I thought that was an interesting comment to leave, but to each his own, I guess, huh? Okay, so there are those pieces. So let's put our little ribbon piece on this. And I have cut, this one is for the bow. I am going to cut just a little bit of this. And you know I have my crinkled seam binding ribbon, which retired a while ago, but... Um, I don't care. It's my favorite and I'm going to keep using it. So let's put, I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on the back of this Blackberry Bliss piece. And I'll line this up. I always cut my ribbon way too long. So those of you that are annoyed by things can be doubly annoyed today with the wind chimes and the barking dog. <laughs> I do get a lot of comments from people, though, that have dogs and their dogs kind of like hearing my dogs bark in the video for some reason. Okay, so I've got tape on that. That didn't come out very straight. 
see if I can move it a little bit. I should have closed the door to the room that he goes in and sits in the front window and barks at things, but I guess that's kind of his job, right? So, can't really take that away from him. Well, I could, but I love him and I don't want to hurt his feelings. All right, I'm going to have to stand up to get this one straight. Okay, so we've also got um, a scrap of Blackberry Bliss for the layer behind the sentiment and then a scrap of Whisper White for the sentiment. I'm not going to stamp it because I already stamped one and cut it out. So let's put some green glue on our sentiment. And see if we can get this lined up. Hopefully I'm in the camera. I haven't been checking. So you can either glue this down or you could pop it up on dimensionals. I think I'm just going to glue it. Get that little corner. So now the second dog just ran in there to join in the fun. So let's see if we can get this straight. All right, and the next thing I'm going to do is see how quickly this is coming together. I'm going to grab my little bow maker. And for those of you that haven't seen these before, um, you can find them on Amazon or Etsy. I find it really handy. So that, I just have looped it behind there. The right one is over the left, and it's a little bit longer. I'm going to put it underneath towards the back, pull it over the top, and then this is the one I pulled over the top. I'm going to put it underneath the left one and then pull it through this hole where my finger is. Hopefully, uh... and then grab the tails and give it a tug. So then you can straighten it out. And obviously you can make all different kinds of sizes with this. You can make double bows. Um, it works a lot better for me than just tying a regular bow. So I'm going to just take a glue dot. See if I can roll it up a little bit. I actually usually glue my bows down. I will glue them and then set a acrylic block on it and let it sit for a while. So there's our cute little bow. Now I'm going to take my scissors and cut the tails a little bit. Hopefully I can get them a little even. That was not even close. That looks pretty good. So 
Those of you that watch my videos know I don't usually do the inside of a card on my videos, although I always do put a piece of basic white on the inside. It just makes the card a little sturdier and, and it's for something to write on. So I am going to glue this to the inside, this little strip. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Just another little added bit of fun. So we'll just put this down toward the bottom, try to get it straight. Put some tape on the back of the white piece. This I did in four by four. Um, you'll see that there's plenty of extra room to make it bigger if you wanted. You could also do a layer of Blackberry Bliss and then put the white on top of it. So there's our inside. You could turn it the other way too if you wanted, which would kind of match this. So the last thing I'm going to do is add some Rhinestone Basic Jewels, which I love. So I am going to, don't you love that font of that sentiment? I think it's so pretty with these little extra goodies on it. So we'll put a gem there and let's see. Put one up there, and I think I'll put one over here. Okay, so there is our sample. Obviously, this is a little bit different piece of the paper, so I did have to do a little different layout with my rhinestones. And there's the one we just made with Blackberry Bliss. Which one do you like better? I don't know. There's the real red. There's the Blackberry Bliss. It might be really pretty with the green, too. Um, I originally was going to make it with Melon Mambo, but I was surprised to find that I don't have any. I think I might like the real red better. Okay, so I also made one with the... Flight and Airy Designer Series Paper, of course. This was Celebration. I love it. So there's the little birds. And then I did one with Perennial Lavender. And I used Crumb Cake and Lost Lagoon and cut out a couple of the dies. And I added some of the little brass butterflies. And then this has the purple gems. And then this one is kind of a crazy mishmash of things. Um, this is actually paper from the Sunny Days pack. Um, the one with the little clouds and raindrops and things. And I think it was Celebration. Um, and... It's This little flower is from Nature's Prints, and I thought that it kind of almost looked the same as the flowers on that paper, even though they don't go together. Um, and I cut these out with the uh, Nested Essentials dies. This die is from the Ornate Borders die pack. It's, I think it's been retired for quite a while, but it's one of those, again, that I've never used before, so I got it out and used it, and I really like it. And then the little hello and its die cut are from, hmm, I don't, <laughs> excuse me, I don't remember now, and, oh, from the 
wonderful thoughts set. And I did have some old red rhinestone basic jewels left. So I put one of those in the middle of the little flower. This one I put the designer series paper on the left hand side. Um, so I also did one in the portrait style. So this one, I haven't put anything on the inside yet. Um, this one is a little different and maybe some of you would like this book style better. So I will have measurements and supplies used for this one also. There's a little ant. So that is my project for today. Let me know what you think about it and if you're going to be giving it a try and making one of these cards. Like I said, they are really easy. They're quick. Um, it really wouldn't take you very long. It's a good, I think, beginner card. So if you have any questions about any of this, you can leave me a message in the comments and I will get back to you. Again, thank you for stopping by today. I really appreciate you spending some time with me. If you like my videos, please give me the thumbs up, share my video with your friends and family, and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow, and I will see you next time. Bye!